Why do go for this negative SQL? The main intention of to entering into this negative SQL is if we want to if we want to pass database dependent queries. If we want to pass the database dependent queries, then this negative SQL is going to be supported. For example, for example, if you want to create the one database table at MySQL database, now that the data types are different. If you want to create the database table at Oracle, that the database table is uh, okay. Data types are different. Sometime, sometime, okay. Every database, all are not same queries. Database dependent related queries are there. SQL queries are different. MySQL queries are different. DBT queries are different. Sometime, at the time, we can pass any query, either SQL query or MySQL query or DBT query. This uh, negative SQL is going to be supported. Negative SQL is one of the concept. By using this concept, we can perform the bulk of operations. First point. Second point is by using this negative SQL, we can perform the DML operations as well as DQL operations also. Okay, DQL operations also. Third point is this negative SQL is going to be supported by the all the database dependent queries. Fourth point is fourth point is. Whatever projects are there in JDBC level, whatever projects are there in JDBC level, those projects we can migrating very easily by using this negative SQL. We are using the JDBC technology in olden days. So now in that project we are writing to the normally database related queries. So as it is, we can place those queries in this negative SQL. Why we are placing sir means so this is given to the more performance. This is the hibernate. This is the hibernate that JDBC is not maintained by the any session or like that. So this is given to the more performance as well as it is going to be maintained by the some session. That means uh, caching techniques are there. That is the reason we can converting the, the total project JDBC project into Oracle, sorry. Hibernate project, okay. Hibernate, then we can go for negative SQL. Using this negative SQL, easily we can migrate that JDBC project into Hibernate. Okay, so those queries is going to be supported. Assume that your project is there in MySQL level, then directly we can use this negative SQL, then easily we can convert that to total project into okay Hibernate. But uh, HQL is there. HQL doesn't supported. Criteria is there. Criteria doesn't supported. Those are uh, database dependent queries. But this negative SQL is going to be supported by the all the all the type of database related queries. Now I want to selecting the all the records from DB to front end application. If we want to selecting the all the records from DB to front end application, how to implementing the here? Now just observing. First we need to get the session object. Session session is equal to session session is equal to factory dot open session factory dot open session factory dot open session after that after that SQL query. SQL query all are capital letters SQL query query is equal to session dot session dot create SQL query create create SQL query Create SQL query under that we can pass directly. 
our actual query select a star from select a star from product not product products products after that we need to get the list object list l is equal to query dot list query dot list the next after that iterator iterator it is equal to l dot iterator l dot iterator right l dot iterator after that while while it dot as next it dot as next after that must and should we need to type casting to here object array type only okay must and should we need to type casting to the object array type only even though we are selecting complete records must and should we need to type casting to the object array type only in this case object array row is equal to object array then it dot next method after that system dot out dot print ln row of 0 plus row of 1 plus row of 2 the next close the while close the session close the factory and close the method close the class right now if we want to convert the if we want to convert the our records into pojo class object into pojo class object now we need to we need to implementing the this query as like as follows so now we need to implementing that query as like as follows sql query query is equal to sql query query is equal to session dot session dot create sql query under that select star from select star from products products dot dot add entity add entity add entity method is given by the session interface session interface now under that under that we can pass what under that we can pass what product dot class product dot class after that getting the list object list l is equal to query dot list query dot list then iterator it is equal to l dot iterator the next while while it dot as next the next after that we need to type casting to product product p is equal to product of it dot next the next after that system dot out dot print ln p dot get triple x methods close close this type of queries we call them as entity queries entity queries this type of queries we call them as entity queries
this type of queries we call them as entity queries right now one more type is there scalar queries this is the entity query now scalar queries by default uh, hibernate framework by default hibernate framework whenever we are selecting the records whenever we are selecting the records by default hibernate framework is going to be is going to be searching the metadata of metadata of database table column names so now database table having some columns those column having some metadata okay by default internal it is going to be searching the meta information of that database columns okay now it is going to be taking the help from result set metadata internally in jdbc level result set metadata is there database metadata is there using the uh, two interfaces we can finding the meta information about the database tables as well as about the database product okay about the database product now in the same way here while selecting the columns now this native sql is going to be native sql is going to be searching the what is the meta information of appropriate database column name what is the meta information of appropriate uh, database column name at that time at that time it is going to be utilizing the internally result set meta data result set meta data whenever the result set meta data is going to be utilizing that hibernate framework now application performance is going to be decreased automatically in order to eliminating that problem and also in order to increasing the performance now we have to designing the scalar queries we have to designing the scalar queries how do designing that scalar queries now just observing here so now sql query query is equal to session dot create sql query under that i am passing the query select pid comma p name p name from from products products this is my query right this is my query the next along with this query we can add one method called that is add scalar even though we are taking here select star from select star from internally it is going to be taking the meta information okay meta information for each and every column add scalar scalar add scalar under that pid pid comma hibernate dot hibernate dot hibernate dot integer integer okay what is the data type here integer the next dot dot add scalar add scalar under that p name comma hibernate dot string hibernate dot string hibernate dot string right hibernate dot string the next after that here if we want to type casting to object type then we have to take add entity method also right now here query list l is equal to query dot list iterator it is equal to l dot iterator 
while it dot as next the next object array row is equal to object array it dot next the next system dot out dot print ln row of zero plus row of one close the while close close this type of queries we call them as scalar queries scalar queries scalar queries right now this is the selection in the same way if you want to perform dml operations also we can perform dml operations also by using this negative sql okay this negative sql for example i want to insert the one record into database okay now how to write that is the dml operation now insert insert if we want to insert uh, now how to implementing here session session is equal to factory dot open session factory dot open session the next after that okay after that sql query sql query query is equal to session dot session dot create sql query under that insert into insert into employee values question mark <coughs> in that question mark places we can replace the values query dot set parameter 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 okay the next under that we can take here zero initially now new integer of 1001 the next query dot set parameter then one now string directly we can pass that value durga then query dot set parameter under that two comma new double of 5000 after that transaction tx equal to transaction tx equal to session dot begin transaction session dot begin transaction after that after that query dot execute update execute update execute update execute update the next tx dot commit the next system dot out dot print ln record is inserted record is 
inserted the next close the session close the factory that's enough this is the way to perform to the an operations by using native sql this is what sub interface of query only available to the same package org.hibernate.star package right now we'll see an example pozo <coughs> class hbm cfc the next uh, for our logic first we will see here scalar queries scalar queries right scalar queries SQL query query is equal to session dot create SQL query PID P name products add scalar add scalar so now add entity right the next we can take this location the next here we are getting what invalid column name what is the problem invalid column name PID P name. The next so we are getting three three and eight tell. Only one record is there, right? So now here even though we are adding here add entity add entity but here how many columns we are selecting parcel records we are selecting then must not should we need to type casting to the object array type only if you are selecting complete records then we can go for what okay add entity now we'll see Now here, query query is equal to session dot create query. Select a star from products. Add entity product dot class. Complete object I am selected here. Then we can type casting to the happily according to our product class. Now we'll see. So now only one record is there that one record is going to be displayed here we are deleted previously three records right so this is the this is the native SQL in the same way if you want to perform this one also we can follow like this right that's all for today then next and tomorrow I'm going to start uh, relations right tomorrow I'm going to start relations tomorrow I'm going to finish that's enough the next day we will see the second level cache second level cache annotations and the next uh, one example on starts to hibernate integration right that's all thank you